Hey guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'll be making Jamaican style curry chicken. So let's get started. Alright, so I already went ahead and got a head start in my bowl so far. I have a whole chicken that I chopped up. They're not in small pieces. They're just, you know, cut up from the joints. I have a whole habanero here. I took the seeds out, the ribs out, and chopped it up really finely. I have crushed garlic, finely chopped ginger, scallions, and allspice berries. To this, you're also going to add some, which one is this? This is onion powder. I'm putting it out to the side because, you know, I like taking my pictures. You're also going to add garlic powder. It looks like a lot because, like I said, it's only going to one side. And I'm using the Blue Mountain Country Curry. I found this. You can find this in Food Town, Kroger. Let me make sure y'all can see. Or any international supermarket. This is the one I have today, so that's the one that I'm using. And then you just want to put your curry powder right down in here. The amount of curry powder depends on how many, how much chicken you're making. This is a whole chicken, so I'm probably going to use about, I don't know, a third cup. Not a third cup, a fourth cup of curry powder. And that's pretty much it. Allow it to marinate two hours to up to overnight. I almost forgot my salt. Look at me. Look at me. almost forgot my salt. And my pepper. Yes, I'm still adding pepper even though we have that habanero down in there. Allow it to marinate two hours or up to overnight. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to work on the cabbage. Right here I have some cabbage wedges. I didn't shred it because that's not what I wanted to do. I have bacon and I have butter. Then I'm going to sprinkle on some garlic, chopped fresh garlic right on top don't worry the all the flavor is gonna go all up in and underneath the cabbage then I had some leftover scallions this is optional but it was leftover so I'm not gonna waste it I'm gonna use it I'm actually gonna cook this in the oven until it's nice and tender then you also want to sprinkle on here some smoked paprika Make sure it's smoked. Regular won't do anything, so make sure your paprika is smoked. Black pepper. You can use white pepper. No big deal. A little bit of garlic powder. Not too much. You already have that garlic up in there. And some salt. Oh, it's not even coming out. Okay, there we go. All right, you're going to throw this into a 350-degree oven until nice and tender. All right, you guys, as you see my last clip, I put my chicken in the pot and covered it, put it on medium heat so it could create its own juice. I'm not adding any, li any liquid to that chicken as of right now. Once it makes its own juice, we're going to add the peppers and the onions. And we're going to let it cook 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to add, I'm going to peel these up, wash these up, chop these up, the potato and the carrots. And I know somebody's going to probably, that did not watch my video all the way through, is going to talk about why didn't I have time in my recipe. And I know I do. Now, I only put my herbs at the end of my dishes because like the last 5-10 minutes because if you boil it forever, you're never going to taste it. So I always add my time the last 10 minutes of cooking anything that's stewed. So last 10 minutes, this goes in. So yep, we're going to check to see if it made its own juice and we're going to add the vegetables. Alright y'all, so I wanted to open it so y'all could see all that juice. I didn't add any liquid to this. I just covered it, turned it down, had some patience and it accumulated all that chicken juice. So now you're just going to mix this in. Cover it right back up. Keep it on medium low heat. Let it keep cooking. If we need liquid or if you need liquid, you can add chicken stock. Chicken stock, chicken broth, water. You know, use your judgment. Alright, you want to cover this right back up and allow it to cook 30 minutes. Alright y'all, so I already added my potatoes and my carrots as you can see. 
and clearly I still have not added any liquid but I think I am going to add a cup of chicken stock just to make sure there's enough liquid to cook my potatoes down but all of this I've, I have still haven't added no liquid in here and um, just cover it up and let it cook and in the last 10 minutes I'm going to add my thyme and that's it make sure you taste it for salt and pepper alright y'all so this is the dish this is my curry chicken right here baby where you going <laughs> Come let these people know. Oh, hello. Yeah, where you going? Let's get the going. He oh, he said he's trying to run away from the camera every time I turn it on. You got time. This is the cabbage wedge right here. I put it in the oven, uh, covered for 15 minutes, uncovered for 20 minutes. It came out perfect. You see, it? it's brown around the edges, the bacon on top. Um, and some plantains over here to the side. I'm not really a fan of them because they're not all the way ripened. I like it soft and um and this is the curry chicken so it smells amazing hope you guys give it a try i'll um, use per usual i have juice and i'll catch you guys <laughs> come on man see y'all see y'all next time on the next video bye bye, bye guys